Our Computex coverage is made possible thanks to the following sponsors. Show them some love for helping us get here to Taipei. Alright, so as soon as I heard Antec will be on the show floor at Computex, I received a tiny glimpse of hope for the company to come out with something amazing and competitive. And so this is their signature chassis, the S10. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting something of this caliber, as this case is launched at $500. Instead, I was hoping for something mid-range to blow us away, but the S10 no doubt integrates some unique features. First, the build quality, I'm loving the materials with the thick brushed aluminum side panels and I suggested to have them sandblasted as that is the direction we see aluminum heading uh, within the chassis industry. The side panels have magnetic strips that hold them to the case, which means easy access as the panel swivels to open, but not having the panel securely attached to the frame is a bit worrying. One of the most interesting design choices for the frame is this gap between the main chamber and the hard drive chamber. Now the concept is great, to actually separate the heat transfer from hardware and allow direct airflow delivery in the main chamber without sacrificing on the actual length of the chassis. The hard drive compartment will support six mechanical drives on these rubber brackets and three dedicated SSD spots right beside there, but for the height that is available, six drives seems kind of limiting. But they are mounted in this vertical position as there is an exhaust fan at the bottom to take away the heat from all the drives. In the power supply chamber, there's another drive cage that's built in, but this one's only for SSDs. And again, uh, given the size of the S10, I was hoping for a bit more storage capacity and and user flexibility when it comes to drives. The orange filter in the gap is easily removable from the side. It covers triple 120 mm fan spots on that internal wall, allowing direct airflow delivery for the main compartment uh, that might compromise GPU clearance if you install a thick radiator with push-pull uh, at the front. The top airflow is limited to dual 120-140 mm fans and coming around to the back we can see that chamber separation a bit more clearly with that tan fan hub uh, included that is SATA powered and one of the most annoying things would be routing the SATA cables to the top hard drives because you need to pass the cables through the small gap at the bottom. So Entec is telling us that SATA extensions will be provided with the case and I sure hope so for the price they're asking. Now if you guys want to see a full review of the S10, let us know in the comments below. I really want to give this case another chance or you know a full chance and also a more premium model will be released with tempered glass panels that looks absolutely fantastic. So like or dislike to let us know how you feel about the S10. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.